This is a show that we thought of called Special Random because Wikipedia has a random article button that's called Special Random. And we're going to learn things about the world. Special things. Random things. Let's do our first one. Bing. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to help with you uh, reading this <clears throat> one. Okay. Neocholerus conspicua is a species of ground beetle in the genus Neocholerus in the family Carabidae. It was described by Neveau in 1994. Who's Neveau? Let's find out. Roger Neveau. Roger Neveau. Known for his work on beetles. He was a beetle man. He was a beetle maniac? He wasn't a beetle, though. He was just a beetle guy. That's I wonder, cool. is there a picture of this guy? Let's see. I'm going to look at this beetle. Neo Neocholerus conspicua. Neocholerus conspicua. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's a long boy. He is a long boy. He's blue. Kind of blue. Kind of. He looks like a beer bottle with legs. Yeah, he's got orange legs. Like a weirdo. All right. Well, there you have it. Neo he's a, he's, conspicuous. He's a beetle. He's a beetle. And he was named in 94? Is that what it was? 1994. 94. I was in. Oops. Short pants. Shall we? Right. Shall we go doing, again? You ended up doing that one. Yeah. Because I, I can't pronounce Latin. Is that Latin? Mm-hmm. Ooh, my favorite. It's the <laughs> Slovi <laughs> Slovenia at the 2015 World Aquatics Championships. Oh, tell us about it. Um. So Slovenia, which is a place, I know that much. Mm-hmm. Tell me something um, else about it. Well, just looking on the side here, I can, they won no medals. <laughs> zero gold, zero silver, zero bronze. So not a good showing for Slovenia in 2015 at the That's World Aquatics. Yeah. Various events. They got the 400-meter freestyle and the 800 and the 1500. And you got the 50 meter breaststroke, the butterfly, the the individual medley, which I don't know what that is. Are you, let's, does that just mean any any stroke you want? I don't know. Or maybe it means all of them. Uh, maybe we can go look get a feel for what Slovenia looks like. Look at this. Oh. Right, there's a canal. Yeah. Deep, that's bright nice. colors and. Some, some cloudy. There's a little, boat? little bit of clouds, but blue skies. There's boats. There's houses. Hey, I give a thumbs up to Slovenia. Never been. Maybe I'd like to go. Let's do another. All right. Give I'll it, do this one. Give it to you. Oh, wow. The Atlas of Economic Complexity. Mapping Paths to Prosperity. Oh boy. It's a. Uh, I could use this advice. <laughs> so, this is all really boring because it's about economics. Yeah, we don't like. Uh, we don't really like economics here. Yeah. Oh, look at the author. Oh, the author's good. Looks <laughs> like Ricardo Hausman. Hausman. He, looks, uh, he looks all right. His age is 65 or 66. Nobody knows for sure. Whoa, he, listen to this. Mm. He co-introduced several regularly used concepts in economics, including original sin, growth diagnostics, self-discovery, dark matter. In economics? The product space and economic complexity, which is what this book is about. Oh. I've heard is, of the product space. Yeah, I haven't. It sounds really boring, I guess it's though. like, if you have a product, you need to have room for it amongst all the other products. Yeah. I um, mean, you'd probably also need physical room for it, right? Yeah. Does it, is there a link to product space? 
I'm to sure there. Give a baseline definition. Of I'm that. sure there is. Because I'm just kind of speculating. The pro the product space. It's a the. It's a network that formalizes the idea of relatedness between products traded in the global economy. Oh yeah, we're all they're all related. Yeah. You get a um, you know, a sponge. That's related to a brush or something. The Atlas of Economic Complexity. The Atlas of Economic Complexity. Mapping paths to prosperity. Mm. So this would be good if you're, you know, trying to make a buck yeah. in the biz and you want to, you need a map, you want a roadmap yeah. to if, success. If you're into that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Shall we do one more? Yeah, let's do, let's, let's keep going. Yeah. Bing. Ooh, Talbot Hamlin. Ooh, tell me about Talbot Hamlin. He is an American, or he was an American architect. Oh. An architectural historian. Oh. And a writer and an educator. And he was born in 1889, 100 years before me. And he died in 56. 1956. 1956. How about that? Um, there's a good picture of him in a little oval. He's looking to the right. Oh yeah, three-quarter profile. Graduated from Amherst College with a BA. Is that in New York? <sighs> Amherst College, let's see. It's in Massachusetts. It's in Amherst, Massachusetts. Oh, how about that? Let's look at his career. Yeah. What'd he do? Projects early in his career include Wayland Academy in China. Whoa. In Hangzhou, China. Um, and that was in 1919. Wow. End of the First World War. Yeah. The Great War, they called it at the time. Um, he also did Peking University. Oh, wow. In Peking. How about that? Um, a lot of colleges in China. And he did. Jinling or Ginling College in Nanking. Then he was hired as a draftsman in the New York architectural firm of Murphy and Dana. Uh, and he became a partner in 1920. This guy moved. This guy moved fast. He sure did. And he built three colleges within a span of you know a few years. But it was started. They were all started in 1919. Big year um, for. Uh... For this guy. Yeah. Talbot Hamlin. Talbot Hamlin. Talbot Faulkner Hamlin, if you want his middle of niche. It's a pretty cool name. It's a good one. You don't hear Talbot as a first name yeah. anymore. I don't like it has Ham in the last name. I wonder if he had a sense of humor, if he would ham it up. I wonder if he liked to eat ham. I think uh, most people did. That's Back true. in those days. Yeah. That was about probably one of the best meals you could have is ham. A Christmas dinner of ham. Oh, what else? What's his political activity? All political about? activity. Let's get down to that brass tacks. Yeah. I think he was a sponsor of the Scientific and Cultural Conference for World Peace. That sounds. That sounds pretty good. He um, was. It says his political activities were noted in a report prepared and released by the House Committee on Un-American Activities, the United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. In 1949, the committee included California Congressman Richard Nixon. Oh, boy. Tricky Nixon. Um, Tricks and Nixon. It's Trickson's trick shot. He did a lot of political trick shots in his day. Tricked us all. Talbot Hamlin, architect, creator of colleges in China. 1919. Yeah. He was born in New York City. He died in Beaufort, South Carolina. An American man. Indeed. An American architect. An American architect in China. Should be the name of his <laughs> biopic. Ooh, a film. Ooh. Sisuk. 
It's a 2008 Malaysian horror film released on 7 August 2008 in Malaysia. Mm. Ah. Susuk. The story concerns Soraya, who uses the forbidden practice of susuk to become famous. Well, I gotta hear about what this susuk is all about. What Let's is this see. practice? Let's see what it's all about. Charm needles. They're needles made of gold or other precious metals which are inserted into the soft tissues of the body to act as talismans. Interesting. The, need so the needles are the talismans? Mm-hmm. And they're put into your skin, like acupuncture. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Is, it, is this a... Is used for bad? Um, talismans, I feel like, are usually used for... For evil or yeah. some, something, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it always is, because it says it's also used as protection against injuries and accidents. Ooh. Yeah. There you so, go, like a lucky charm. Oh, but it they need to be removed before death, or the person will have difficulty dying. That doesn't sound good at you gotta all. You pull the pin out. Yeah. And then so the life can leave. Exactly. And, and it's easy to die. Exactly. Interesting. Susuk. Was it 2008 this movie? 2008. Well, how many... We haven't seen this movie. Let's... It was only released in Malaysia. It was only released in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Can we Maybe we can find a clip. Yeah. Maybe we can watch a clip of it. Whoa. Whoa. People getting transported, or something happening. Curtains of reality fell down. Probably a good thing, because I don't know what was... There was a susuk going on. Right. Looks interesting. Watch this movie, if you are interested. If you want to, or don't, if you don't want to. If you want, we're, just, you. we're doing a... Hey, I had never heard of it. Now you've heard of it. Now, we, now we've heard of it. We've all heard of it, and maybe you'll watch it. And maybe tell us if you watched it and tell us if it was good. All right, well, this has been the show. And now we're done. Should we say our names? Mm -hmm. Okay. Goodbye.